You will see a lot of crazy things in this video. Beware. Parent adversary advice. This movie is rated R for violence and sex and drugs. This is David Aaron Mitchell. Hey, Aaron. Bill Aaron Powell. Yeah, how is Plays bass in him. my band. Like and he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. Zero to ten person. Uh, aspiring to be a minus one. Thanks for taking my, my like horrible alarm. personality so seriously and, and, and encouraging. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a baseball game? That's this fine. is Michael so, Charles Hansen. So, what's your plan? What do you have to say, Michael? Um. You guys are sure. new to drums, you know, trying not to mess up. You'd be happy with being your You're own doing boss, good. I think. You're doing right. good. I'm getting there. I'll get better. But, uh, you know, no, I know. you're my I best know friend that. and <laughs> I got you, buddy. This is Micah Brown, he, aka Charlie. He plays lead guitar in a fog league. Textural guitar. My comfort zone is the tone zone. Just throw me on that plane. Let me let me ghost ride the plane right to Heathrow. Fully prepared. I'm going from riding a plane the size of a Greyhound bus for an hour and a half to riding one of these giant planes Hopefully over the we continent. Don't die. I look like a very scary individual in this here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Hello. Master DM. Catch me while I slide into your DM. Everybody on the plane is having fun because we are going to London, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Everybody on the plane going, going to London to watch the crime. Everyone's going to have a very good time. Like, like, everybody put the. something about my art. So you have a little Johnny Cash money, um, uh, you got a little Pow Wow Bow Wow, a little AP, Master AP times two, part two. You got MC, little Chucky, fresh from uh, the, the, the bride of Chucky. You got the infamous, notorious, I won't even say his name because it could get me in trouble. Young fucker. <laughs> And then you get a newcomer to the scene, um, Mac Loverboy, also known as MC Loverboy, also known as MC Lover underscore boy. Um, unknown really where this kid came up from, nobody really knows. Um, my name is Pablo Picasso and this is some of my paintings. Cigars the life that gets rid of all bullshit. Time for it to get money. Mode. <laughs> money. That's my mixtape. There it goes. This is a hot mixtape. <laughs> hot goth mixtape. Hans Ford. I stand alone. I stand alone inside. I stand alone. I stand alone. Have fun. Guys. Fog Lake to Molly Drag. <laughs> to the big tour. To Little Pete. What are you guys flying to? Glasgow. Oh, cool, cool. What? Where are we now? Are you on video? We're leaving London. We're not in the area. We're going to Glasgow. And pull apart. You'll find the seatbelt sign in the panel above your head. And larger items should be placed securely in the overhead locker. Please place all items in carefully so they do not fall out and cause injury. Ah, it's landed there, buddy. Finally here. How are you feeling now? Hey. Uh, Give me a 6 out of 10. Yo, what's up? This guy What's up, Kenny? How are you I'm feeling? Good. I slept like a little bit. Did you? Much, but, uh... So, Aaron, are you, uh... What do you think of this tour? Are you, are you gonna have a couple drinks? Are you gonna try to take it easy? What's what's the opinion on substance abuse? No, no substance abuse. No substance abuse on tour. That's my rule. Only at home. 
<laughs> For me, it's just rock and roll, sex yeah. and drugs. Out, no way. No, no way. This is Elliot. Radio. radio letting us stay radio, at his radio, apartment. Radio, radio, PR. He's a thumbs up, positive <laughs> kind of guy. Oh, this is where it's and at. Here chill. We go. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. No, You're killing cool. it. It's a happy no, it's dude. What? Happy as can be. Got those thumbs up. Thumbs up in the sky. <laughs> Thumbs up, ready to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, there we go. Personally, I put peanut butter and jam on for two years. <laughs> I've been eating this for the last three years. And this is how I, how I look like this all the time. No, it's not easy. It's done me good. Doom 3D? Like 30% clean. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 64. Doom 64. Whoa! Whoa back the fuck up. up. Back the fuck up. up. Whoa! <laughs> The thing with Doom that always messed me up is like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, anywhere I can find people to shoot, I feel like that's, I'm not going the right way. We're all wearing game. Glasgow. We made it. We made it. We got our equipment back. Our first show tomorrow. Where are we playing to? Stereo. Glasgow. We're playing Stereo Glasgow. <laughs> Play, playing with Stereos. No. We're playing with oh, broken sides. And I did. So what is this, like Michael? Noon. Yeah. I would have a shadow. Man, I could have a ball. Yeah. A ball. Man of shadows. It's the first day of tour. You excited to play show? No. <laughs> I hate working. Everything that involves hard work to me. Hey, let's just do a DJ set to me. I have my face. Yeah, I'm gonna do a DJ set. I got a bunch of MP3s on my computer. I'm just gonna press play on that shit. Yeah, this is definitely a cool room. What are you doing? Now I'm falling, I gotta do something good. <laughs> Like I had to like sit on my hands when we got in the Uber. Michael, what what did we got here? Oh, oh yo, oh yo, Mick Jagger. Yo, yo, Ryan. I thought you wanted to do the. I never seen you. Oh, you know what, Ron? Louis Theroux. Louis Theroux. Louis Theroux. Fog Lake. That's the first official Fog Lake shirt. We have a tour of the van that has a PS2 in it, and it has Time Splitters one. I didn't have Time Splitters 2, which is like my favorite game. And our driver just went out for five minutes and found it. Time Splitters 2, the best game of all time. Woo! <laughs> I heard that Summers found Time Splitters 2, right? 350. That's so funny, man. He found it in like five minutes. Houston, 
to St. Louis, a year for the Toronto Argonauts, plus one seven. <laughs> I'm happy to find a play here in the fine city. Look cool. Overshadowing the game. Don't look at the camera. As the problems mounted, don't look at the, the camera. Fans became less and less interested. <laughs> to reverse the trend, major sports <laughs> started to play. Great action when that novelty wore off, they tried to sports play. He's got to water the plants. But that's why the dipole work too, right? Yeah. I don't want to go to a party with a bunch of losers from high school. Yeah. Oh, have fun. Jay Leno's got a sick little saddle behind. Why do you guys like only have the knowledge of like ten year old teenage British? <laughs> <laughs> the blackout crew. Because right? yeah. Aaron, you know who else lives in the UK? We should guess this. D4 and N Y. Uh -huh. Oh Danny. Well, I was playing his song Goodbye this morning. To people who oh. hated on me. <laughs> Goodbye to the people, people who loved, loved me. me. <laughs> He's from the UK too. All of our favorite people are from have the UK. Have you ever have you ever watched the one pound fish guy? No, oh, please. What? Like where the pond is and shit. It's right in Sherborne, 822 eight, Sherborne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, American. American. So shot him. He fell to the motherfucking ground. <laughs> the rest of the haters, they all have these goddamn knives, switch blades and shit. So I'm like, all right, let's go. Me and my three other homies, MK okay, was on the Yeah, fuck. We caused a rocket. What? They didn't have any? I got into a fight. No, uh, they didn't know. Right away. There it is, baby. Maybe it's search up a... Uh, do you want to do one player first, or what? You doing? Take two turns? players. Okay. But what? you want to do... Can we do arcade two players? Yeah. Okay, grab your thing. Show. I know what you're talking about though. Where are we now? We are in Manchester of uh, the United Kingdom and I don't even think I need to put a jacket on. We don't know how this camera works. <laughs> oh, this is my friend Aaron, by the way. Yo, Aaron, hey, what's up? Oh, Kenny, nice to meet you. Michael, Aaron. and Aaron. Nice oh, check this out. First thing is we pop this guy. How do you feel about the set tonight? It's good. It's good. I didn't realize how much nicer that would have made it though. Really though, yeah. But it actually makes it cute. Can you get a couple of pointers from this final tap today? <laughs> We're on the way to That's what what game are we where are we at today? Leeds. <sighs> Typical rock star. Three days in already forgets which city he's in. <laughs> Typical rock star. <laughs> 
Where did I get their hat? It's a great question. Boston. <laughs> it was on the ground on the stage. What? Really? Yeah, it was on the floor of the stage. Oh, oh, I just night? went around being like, who owns this? Who owns this? Boston? Yeah. And they were like, no, no, nobody so, owns it. That's crazy. And I was like, cool, I like it. I dig it. I'm from Boston. Boston. Bean town. Boston. Bean, you're a bean man. <laughs> Boston people are known as. Rumor has it that Mr. Fog Lake himself, Aaron Powell, is getting cleaned up for our show tonight at the Brudenell Social Club. So we're gonna go see if the rumors are true. What do you think about this? I think good. What kind of cut do you think he's getting? I think he's getting the smooth jazz cut. Is that him? Here we are at the Roman Barbershop. It's only six bucks. There he is. Until we tour summers, I didn't know people still listen to ska music. All those friends, like on, when we were on tour, yeah. like, all listen to ska. Ska revival. <laughs> He's on the fucking ground floor, dude. Yeah, he don't fuck around. He's gonna be laughing in like 2019 when it's just like uh, yeah. the biggest yeah. thing. You're like, he's gonna be laughing. Even I'm gonna be going ska. <laughs> At least I'm gonna have one ska breakdown in my songs. Sweet potato, oh, but I got can this. I touch your ear? Oh, <laughs> Work <laughs> right with Trying to watch Con Air, but it will not work. I just want at least one line with Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. Like, if it doesn't do it, I'm not playing the show today. I love Coldplay. Their last decent well, not their new shit that much. <laughs> London. No future. No future. Me, Cause I am the DVD Came once to my own tune Came once to the tune Cause I'm tune rated like Lara Croft I'm gonna make you hug the top I'm gonna make you the biggest for diamonds See you next year of time If you came to me, don't speak too hard Speak too soft Cause I am the man who made the Hans Olaf Come to the beat, come to the cry And then be the king of rap Everybody says that I am Uh, I don't know <laughs> I love Tomb Raider yeah, Aaron had a bit of a Tomb Raider phase recently. Like, I really so. did. Yeah. With the original PlayStation version. You're not gonna get that door closed. What? 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 It's fine, dude. Just he had go. it. Just you go, actually Micah. had it. Good. Just don't oh. slam it. Oh my God. Break it. It's fine. I don't think he knows. <laughs> Never again. I'm Raider of Ford and I like this. Hey Kenny. Are you doing a selfie? I see you. I'm filming a selfie. Hanging out, 500 kids in the crowd, saying they fucking loved our songs, and then it's like, boom, Ron comes backstage, he gets the camera, he's like, what the fuck are you doing taking a selfie? And I'm saying, I'm just trying to savor the fucking moment. Yeah. How's your night been? How'd you feel about this day? I haven't slept for shit. I don't know, I had fun, I thought it was a great set. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about it, but I felt, I don't think I screwed up. The crowd loved it, it seemed. Yeah. I, I feel a lot better after being in the, <coughs> being like, in the crowd. Yeah. And then, like, after that, because you can only focus on your own playing when you come off the stage, you know what I mean? So here's for... 
Brown Mica. Brown Mica, you're the man. Cheers. Cheers. Now we smoke the ash. After they've crashed into the Las, like into the fucking Las Vegas Strip, which by the way, on how did this get made? I love how they're like, we looked it up on Google Maps. It is like a mile. Where they land is a mile away from the airport. Save all of these people's lives by like crash landing there. It's like they had to have killed hundreds of people. A mile. Everybody's going like 500 and something miles an hour. So like. Oh, it's just like a matter of what, 10 seconds? It's just, just like. Hang on for 10 more seconds. It doesn't make any sense. I said, if I don't get to hear Steve Buscemi talk in this fucking movie, I'm off. Because he's a pederast. I without you. How do I ever, ever survive? How do I? Micah, what did you think Con Air was about? So I thought Con Air was actually like a comedy thriller that was about a ragtag crew who took over a radio station. And then I thought it was like Con Air because they were on the air. Like they're on the air, you know? And they're the convicts and they hold up there. Maybe they had a couple hostages, you know, as you would. If that was your situation, but that's what I thought Con Air was. It wasn't. Wow. It wasn't what I expected at all. I didn't know Nicolas Cage was the lead. Dave oh. Chappelle. Yeah, Dave man. Chappelle. Why did they kill him off so early? He didn't even die. Like he just. Uh, because he had too much screen time at the start of the film. Brown Micah, living under a rock since 1993. 92. What do they use the cars for? They could have gone to work. Right. Where are we playing the game? You guys want to do the breakfast buzz? Yeah, I don't, I, I can just make a peanut butter sandwich. Honestly. Honestly, I can't remember. That just keeps me awake. That shit just keeps me awake. Bam. Bam. Jam, jam, better get back in the box. <laughs> in the flesh, Ron DeLong. Is he trying to get some vanity from the bottom of the bus a minute? The, the outer ring. Oh yeah, yeah, click yeah. Click it, click it, and just see how it changes. Oh look at that. Again. Oh. And then the other video was the oh, stick man. No. <laughs> Pop up video. <laughs> to anyone who's seen that, probably as a child, Fog like made that fucking video. <laughs> Fog like made the one where the stick man's dancing around, and the guy from Slip Out shows up, and scares the shit out of you. Rest in peace. <laughs> How did you get it on Ebon's World? Jim Rooney. What? How did you get it on Ebon's World or was it YouTube? It was YouTube. It was also posted on Ebon's World, I remember. I was I was about to go to Splash and Putt, which is like a, a water park in Traytown, next to Glover Town. And I was bored and I was waiting on my friend and he was late as fuck. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video and upload it to YouTube. And that's what I did. And that's all I did because I, I had a seasonal pass for Splash and Putt. <laughs> so every fucking day my mom was like, just get she, it was, she's a teacher, so she had the summer off. So every day she was just like, get the fuck out. Like, go somewhere. And like, that was her way of like getting rid of me. And then you ended up working at Splash and Putt. Yeah, for three fucking years. How was that job? It was sick. I'm sorry, whose camera is this? Oh, is it those nerds from Frog Lake? Okay, I've been thinking Sarah this morning, I guess.
You got a Snickers drink? Yes, man. What the fuck is that? Apparently, it's a protein drink. What in the fuck? Snickers is that? fucking drink. Yes. And it's disgusting. Oh, right here, right here. Where is he? Right here, right here. This is the biggie. Oh, yes! Oh, baby. Vans did it! Oh, fucking. The big. Uh, I think they're probably pretty more pretty important. Yeah, but you would say that because your job is on the line. Do return oh. to sites of violent death. <laughs> Can go somewhere the Why the cloud? Eat a few ounces at the same time. Yes. Oh, it's pretty cloudy. Yes. What is an ectoplasm? They say in Kazakhstan, uh, Ecto, the former, is like a hunter who go into wood in time. Yes. Check, check out our green room. The best green room I've ever had. Yeah, I guess for sure. Great. I gotta, I gotta pee. Let, let's I just, can't get through. let's just coordinate how hard uh, for one person to get in here. Pee. The toilet's fucked. It like if you touch it, it like falls over. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna pee into it. Gotcha. I don't fuck around. <laughs> Recording now. Uh, start over. Could have been the wine. If you don't know me, you don't best at AP. If you don't know me, I'm in the price. If you don't know me, I'm the motherfucking tightest rapper in the game. I've been seen because I'm insane. I've been seen me because I'm late. I've been to Newfoundland twice. I've been, but I have a pet mice. If you've never met my pet mice, his name is Jack. If you never knew Incubus, they're whack. If you never knew Deftones, they have a funeral for a friend named Soulfly. Chopping Young Lad is a Ben 7 Fullstone 7 Alice in the Chains, I don't know why. American Rejects a Trey You. It's Club 7 Dust in a Fishbowl. It's Billy Town Dream Theater and Alice in Chains. Arch Enemy on the Sticker Stage. If you wanna go to down
Download Fest, you better get a Bulletproof Fest because it's a crazy fest and it never had a Mastodon Papa Roach of you. <laughs> 75 mil, 4%. We actually have a nice green room tonight. It's fucking excellent. Bristol's cool. Bristol is cool. Bristol's cool. Bristol's cool. Bristol's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's fine. Uh, I'll obviously just have to kind of like plop some levels and make this change sort of like half a song in on the line check. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go on stage. To like, comment, subscribe. After. to my boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you at WrestleMania, yeah. brother. <laughs> oh. And what's your name, John? Oh, brother. Oh, brother, brother. Oh, Scott Ballskin. <laughs> Whoa. It's a break from playing drums. Yeah, that's what it oh my should be okay. God. Thank you, Ralphie. Or Monday. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, I'm so oh, I see <laughs> No, no fear. And call his wealth is lost. He has a lost cause. Put him in the street and give him a boss. If you want to give him a beer, you'd have no fear because he is the very calm alcoholic. If you've never seen him, call him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this documentary is all about my grime career. <laughs> Never thought a white Jewish boy could be a grime artist. I wanted to find out which one was worth it at its price. So bosh, 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 bosh! We were in a different company. Oh, oi! Oi, mate! They got on this slug. It's on this fuck. Yeah! yeah. 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 Let's now. do another show when he gets in the car. <laughs> Ready? He's fucking asleep, of course he is. Google what are you doing here, David? What's up? What's your question? Yeah. What are you doing? What the fuck is it? Who are you looking at, buddy? Jesus fucking. 
job been dying twice. <laughs> this is where Molly Drag's playing tonight. Yeah, I think so. There goes our guarantees. Say goodnight. What are we doing, Sammy? Are we voting right now? Last time, like, we just leave the van here with the, like, the police. Look, it's the army, you guys. They're going to fuck us up. Well, it's actually like, legitimately scary. Oh, they're going to see what you when, uh, when do you think we'll sound check? Um, I think Foxing is gonna, is gonna set up pretty soon. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, I'll yeah, see you guys for some time around too. Online, but it's on the stage. Music. Hello. Okay, we'll have a lot of Interview Fogleg, click in. Yeah, yeah, my name's Aaron. I play in a band called Fogleg. Uh, I've written a lot of songs over the years in my room. What changed in the songwriting? Like, yeah. What did your drive change from like you being an alienated kid in a small town, but now you're like kind of famous, I would say? I, w I wouldn't say that, but like, but no, I, I would say the drive remains the same, you know, like, I feel like, I don't know, I think I'll always write about the same things, but uh, the music will evolve, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, for now, I don't know, where I'm at is good. I feel like I've developed my songs a lot more, and I feel like I'm more comfortable with writing songs, whereas, like, when I first started, it just felt like I didn't have a clue what I was doing, you know? I was just writing, and I didn't know how to record, I didn't know how to place mics, you know? I had one microphone, and I was making music on video editing software, and mixing it on video editing. So to me, it was, like, super punk rock, you know, in my head, but, like, I didn't, I didn't really know what I was doing, but... I think today now I know what I'm doing, if that changes anything, like I go into making music with at least some idea of how to go about it and how I'm going to record it. So yeah, I guess you could say it's changed. So could I get another smoke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interviews make me nervous. How are your shoulder doing? Cool. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, getting back to the interview. Um, do, you, do, do your songs come from like a sad place, do you think? Uh, wouldn't call it sad, I'd, I'd maybe call it like a disconnect. Like some kind of... Like trying to get through to someone that you can't. You know, because I feel like through music you can speak to somebody who's not there. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, or even just speak to people on levels that you can't in real life, you know, or just you're afraid to, because when you have that wall, you know, and you, uh, I guess with music you can break it down, whether it's like a complete stranger or someone you knew or someone you know, you can break that wall down and get through to them some kind of way, you know, so. It's motion again, you know, but 
when you have writer's block or something, you're looking through the air for emotions and none of them are there. Or you might capture one and you'll throw it away. So I think what you had to do as a songwriter is like, I don't know, stay true to that quick, that qu small moment or like that small revelation you might have had because it doesn't always happen, you know? It comes in waves. When I first started making music, I never even imagined playing live. I never saw that as like something I'd ever do. I don't know, I, th I think I kind of got into it. I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, things happen for a reason and I don't have a lot of regrets anymore. And along with everyone in the band, because I mean, you're stuck in a van and you're stuck with these people for a month, you know, I'm, like, I'm a pretty solitary guy, you know, I'm, I'm like an introverted guy, so any time, you know, I need, I need that space, so being on tour can be really mentally exhausting, and you, know, you want to keep your friendships, but I don't know, this is like my third, fourth tour I've been on, I, the group I got now is really good, we all get along really well, and we're not having any problems, and we have video games and movies in the van, and our driver Summers is really cool, so I don't know, it's just been really fun so far, and enlightening and exciting. Were your worries like in 2012, 2011 when you started making music? Uh, I don't know, back then I just felt like I had nothing to lose. You know, I think I feel like music was like an escape. It was just more of an escape, just like get, like get me out of this life. I had no money, I had nothing, you know? And I don't know. Oh my god, it's loud. But now, I don't know, I feel like I do have something to lose. I, I don't know, I have good friends and I, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Things are good. This is uh, the one in Antwerp in Belgium, and we have a, a maze pilsner. Um, it's a 5.2. It's got hints of coriander. Maybe a couple blend of special hops as well. Um, I remember listening to a band called May in high school, spelled M-A-E. They had an album called The Everglow. And strange enough, this, this beer kind of reminds me of that, so. Yeah. How smooth going down. Might have learned a trick or two. No, not even. I think you should leave us, boys. I'll just do it with my lips. Here. There. That's how we do it. Kenny, what are you about to do? Opening a bottle with my baby arms. And he got baby arms, got so a lot of things arms. are difficult for him. So He's like a dinosaur. No, I, would, I wouldn't go that far. It's kind of okay. mean. Some of them. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Kenny, I love you. And very different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dig, Do you want to see yes, me right? Pass me that. Do you <laughs> I don't see any letters. This is fucking fuck this. <laughs> I got all of you. I gave you the best three times in a fucking row. Get it. Pass it. Pass it. Pull it. Film it. Pass it. Oh shit, we're gonna have to pass off the camera. Pop it. Twist it. It's my first time filming anything. Pass it. Pop it. Pass 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 it.
Lights up. So we just got into uh, Paris, and what are you really concerned with here, Ron? What's the big concern? Winning this fucking competition is only half the race going to man. It's a sick glitch. That was only happened once in a few, few months. Oh! oh. <laughs> Who's back? Who's back? Dude, Fog Lake just beat Rodney Mullen. Guess who's back? How did Rodney Mullen come I in last? Don't call it a comeback. Because he sucks, that's why. I'm in a chill ass zone. Looking for a chill ass bone. <laughs> Chilling in Perry. You don't wanna fuck with me. In Perry, don't fuck with me. I'm gonna call the FCC. Say la vie. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. I'm gonna take a selfie. I got mojito flavored 7 up. Oh, hey Aaron, I didn't know you were the king. No. I didn't know the king was trying to make. Aaron's the king of the mic. King. Don't test him. What the shit? Look at this James Bond oh, looking motherfucking wig. Why are doing this thing on this shot right now? <laughs> I just want to get a taste of culture right here. What, David, what did you get to That's eat? This bread. is amazing. Lentil soup and bread, you okay? Try to tie it. Soup in a cup. Bread in a tray. Oh. It's really good. Nope. One thing I fucking love, chains. Thanks, Aaron. Cool. 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 C
Yo, Aaron, you know there's a can, a bottle opener on the side of the fridge, right? You should probably put down the knife. Look, there's a bottle opener right here. It's right here. Just look, I can just... No <laughs> shit, no, fuck right off. <laughs> fuck right off. Eternalized. 16 minutes of man. You just are loving in your eyes all the way. If I listen to your lies, would you say I'm a man without conviction? I'm a man. I just slay my motion. <laughs> I let myself the page or my home for at the bottom. I sent two letters back and out of them. You must have not have got them. There was probably a problem with the post office or something. Sometimes I scribble addresses to slap me when I jot them. But anyways, fuck it. What's up? Good help me. How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, it's a Ricala. I'm a cop of She's pure as me or so.
fresh beer for my buddy. By war, you're one of them. You say that you're my friend, but you're one of them. One of them. You don't want to see me live. You don't want to give. Because you're one of them. One of them. My war, you say that you're my friend, but you're one of them. One of them. Champ! <laughs> <laughs> Baby! Baby! Never one hit from time to time. I'm gonna do a grand verse because you gotta pay me first because I got for free. And I gotta be stoned and I gotta be 3D when I do a grand verse. You gotta see me on the TV, MTV, BBC. I don't care which one, just pay me. Pay me up front or get in my face. Pay me up front or make it a date. Make it a date to meet me at the bank. Give me all your bank, give me all your crank. Cause I smoke crank, I smoke ice. I'm gonna go and buy a big pound of dice and beat you at CeeLo. I'm CeeLo Green on the comeback thing. Never seen me on the ground, King. Never seen me, I do my thing on the street, on the, on the mic, on the venue. I don't care on the club, in the hockey arena, on a smoke a dub. Alright. Well, we can get out earlier, obviously. No, no, no. I, I have to go to work at night. Uh, then I get eight anyway, so... Okay. Well, you have to go to work at night. Doesn't well, matter to me. Just... Well, we'll figure it out. Whatever's comfortable. for the ganja. Apparently it's legal here, but we can't buy it because we're not Dutch residents. And now we're being sketchy and walking around really slowly and looking at everybody really weird. It helps. Take funny pictures. How do you feel after your karaoke experience last night? Pretty bad. You want to die? Shit. Uh, it, was, it went that bad? No, it was a great, great performance. Yeah, I, I thought I so too. Fabulously. We killed it. Who's got the weed? Who's got the weed? Do they have weed? David's going to ask somebody. Is that who he's... Oh my god. Thank you, Summers. Thank you. Summers Thanks, bro. The pimp and the player. What do you think of Switzerland, Mr. Powell? Hates it. Hates it right to death. I fucking hates it. Hates it. Hates it. No, it's good. It's chill. How many days are we in the tour, you say? How many days? Thirteen? Like no, it's like, what, fifteen? Kenny making Ron, me. get this! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, shit. Anyway, back to our main... Our, our protagonist, Kenny. Betty Davis himself. <laughs> Where the Bergs? Where the Burgers? 
Give me American cheese. Give me mayonnaise. Give me shredded iceberg. Give me onion. Give me mustard. Give me catsup. Give me a sesame seed. something really important to show you. Everybody look at this. I want you all to see this. Very important thing. How do you feel about Boys Around Here as a song? It made me feel severely detached. <laughs> made you feel nothing? Don't do this to me. Habitat for a Newfoundlander on the ferry. <laughs> you are the. I'm bringing the home to This is the buys. <laughs> I haven't changed my pants in 22 days. <laughs> Can we stay? 
still have what four or five more days until yeah. you can get home and change them. The pets just make the ticket. Just like it's gonna go right off. The I got some. I got some pickies. <laughs> That's freaky deaky. Uh, That's cold. <laughs> freaky deaky Deutsch. Summer's on the sea in Denmark, we motherfucking little mermaid. Wow. We might get stopped. Oh, why? These brutes, these heavies. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. Yeah, how's it going? What will you do here? Play uh, music for this guy's project. What <laughs> kind of instrument are you playing at? I play the drums. You are the noisy boy. <laughs> I am. I'm the noisy boy. Thank All you right. so much. And then we have... We need to go to a hairdresser. <laughs> Why you look so sad? <laughs> I was at the time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> and then, David. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and one from this. So, have a nice trip. Thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Hello. <laughs> How dead do you feel on a scale of one to ten? Twenty. Damn. Yeah. Shit. Rest in peace, my boy. Oh, sorry. Damn. Well, I'm sitting in the parlor waiting for you to come back. On a Friday night, alone at the bar, got my whiskey and... I am so fucking tired. <laughs> Say hi. Hey, what's up? We are Spinal Tap. Thanks for coming out. If you're bored and you're alone, it's 3 a.m. and you're drunk or something, there, it's all band camp. It's 8.30 in the morning, and we're getting on the go. How long is the drive? Seven hours. She... True. What did that guy just do, Michael? That was fucked up, man. He was, like, bleeding profusely from the nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he just comes over and he goes, Paper. <laughs> just like... Yeah, but you look good, Summer. See, that's the difference. I'm stealing one of your candies. I was giving you one. You motherfucker. <laughs> Is happiness to be found in a bottle? In alcohol advertisements, everything seems possible. Beauty, friends, love, party, and success. But is happiness to be found in a bottle? Or is it rather the other way around? Is happiness within us and found when we live life to the fullest? Where do you find your happiness? One more show tomorrow in Oslo, Norway. And then we're going back home. I'm tired. And I'd love to go to Iceland because I love boxing and I would love to see Oyama again. But I love my bed, baby. What did they like, Caesar? What did it become okay for one person to be the boss of everybody, huh? Because that's not what Rome is about. We should totally just stab Caesar! Marching leaders had cracked. Oh man, this looks so cool, church. <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> going on Instagram. My favorite Beatles album. Cool church. 
best Beatles album. This is my last yeah. rock show ever. I'm not playing one more rock show. <laughs> It's the last set I'll ever play. Two minutes. Rock Doc. We're gonna play one song. <laughs> one one throw he socks at you. He's like, this seat's in the grapes. Is there not a lens Why are there so many people in here right now? Are you guys gonna rock? Because you guys are gonna play the keyboard and everything up there. I don't know if this I one goes out to Andy Dick. Like Andy Dick. We're gonna play Dick. two songs. So. <laughs> Stan and Barbie. Holy moly, this is crazy. And then Stan again. We've had a good time, but we're ready to go back to our hometown of Canada. We've been asleep for a very long time. But yeah, thank you, Foxy. Thank you, Connor. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Nelly. Am I forgetting somebody? John? Who? I forgot <laughs> No, I didn't forget any John. Yeah, I said John. Or John. John. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking boys. I love the, I love the Andy Dick shout out. Hey, this is Eric Hudson speaking. Uh, I'm, we're almost done on the tour with uh, Fog Lake, uh, aka Fog Dogs. Uh, Aaron Powell, aka Ron Powell. He's 
He's been a real uh, stand-up guy it's and a real stand-up comedian on the stage. It's there in Bowser. I try. And, Once uh, I drink enough coffee, I can do anything. He's real so funny on stage. This is the last show of a very long tour. We've never been out this long in Europe before. And it has been an incredible experience. And that is all thanks to the support of Sean Pierce, our sound, our sound bin. Nelly, our incredible tour manager, one of the greatest people we've ever had the pleasure of meeting. Andrew Summers, who's been driving Fog Lake around. And of course, Fog Lake. Some of the most wonderful people we've ever had the experience of meeting. None of those mean nearly as much to you as they do to us right now, but they mean so much to us right now. And uh, we couldn't have a better place to, to end this tour than Oslo. The first time we've ever been here, this place is absolutely incredible. Thank you for having us, and thank you for being at the show, spending your night with us. It's amazing. No, you're supposed to give it to me. Set on the bag. Why don't we stop for gas? I can, uh... So I don't know what's up. You just don't know communication. <laughs> just don't know communication. So I don't know what's up. Oh, that's Summers' bread there now. There you go, Summers. Got some good bread here. Oh, that's Summers' bread now. Oh, baby, that's Summers' bread. <laughs> Yo, he gonna fuck the bread up, right? <laughs> Have you saw the leprechaun say, woo woo? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I do like burning shit. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. I'm really happy that worked out. I'm glad we had that experience. It was perfect, man. Where are we, David? Uh, also, this guy's what I'm sleeping place. <laughs> Fuck off. 